Welcome to Heroes and Generals Beta Video Log 3. The game is currently in beta state, so please bear in mind that the graphics and sound shown here is not final and will improve over time. In this video, we'll show you some of the features introduced in the two latest Heroes and Generals builds, called Craze and Deedle, which you will have access to if you've acquired a beta key. We've introduced a character rank to each character, which is based on the XP you earn in the action game. The rank will amongst other things be used when assigning squad leaders, and will also affect your character's pay grade, so a higher ranking character will earn more credits than a lower ranking. The XP is split into two categories, Combat XP and Tactical XP. Combat XP is gained by kills, how many battles you've fought, how many tanks and planes you've destroyed, etc. Tactical XP is gained by capturing or assisting in capturing capture points, winning battles, clearing objectives and so on. The sum of your character's combat and tactical XP levels equals your rank. However, tactical XP is rewarded higher than combat XP in order to encourage team play. We have now made it possible to have more players in and on each vehicle than there are seats. So a half track can transport 10 players, a tank 6, a jeep 7, and a bike 2 players. The first version of a mission lobby has been implemented, in order to avoid for instance 1 vs 12 missions. Currently the cap for each mission is 12 vs 12, but pretty soon we'll have 16 vs 16 missions, and it's our goal to go much higher. Let me finish by showing you an early preview of an upcoming single player mission type, the Interdiction mission. Should a moving assault team be attacked by a fighter squadron, a single player Interdiction mission is started up in the mission list. The player who joins this mission has to find and bomb a train carrying the resources of the moving assault team. If the player succeeds in destroying the train before it leaves the map, he will cause severe casualties to the moving assault team thereby reducing the resources carried by that assault team. That's all for now. Remember that you can support the development of Heroes and Generals by buying War Bonds. Sign up for a beta key at heroesandgenerals.com and help us make the game you want to play.